speaking yes for you this is a slight change the change is that like you have the computer science and those who are students taking computer science and isc pattern of education okay the council has made the paper is telling to make the paper as mcq yes and this is uh, for 2020 examination and now for this uh, the schools are also having the mcq paper so for that reason only we uh, just try i show you the computer science that is 868 that is a code there's a bifurcation uh, bifurcation yes of the syllabus is that as per the reduced syllabus for isc class 12 year 2022 2022 examination and this uh, divided into two part that is the first semester semester 1 and semester 2 semester 1 marks is having as uh, 35 and the marks for the rest is 35 and the rest are as per the things it is a 70 marks a paper that you have for the theory practically separate the project files are separate that is done the rest of the 30 marks as you all know so now the only difference is that the bifurcation of the syllabus that is the names you find of the unit that is made as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 and 10 and uh, semester 1 and semester 2 divided in two slots and you see that uh, I make a close look that boolean algebra is there the complete unit of boolean algebra is there fine and number two that the com computer hardware part is hardware uh, the complete unit is there that is you having the particular full syllabus of the computer hardware part implementation of the algorithm to solve the problem we do have that also and programs in java that you already done in class 11 yes the section b and c especially will be comprising of that and is a complete unit that you have objects regarding the objects also we have the complete unit and uh, you find the primitive values wrapper classes and types of casting the type casting we have the casting uh, yes uh, implicit and explicit type of casting and those things are also there variables expressions all are there so interchange or change between the java of variables and expressions uh, how to convert those things and all all will be there in the complete unit and um, uh, expression to language language to expression all are there and statement uh, scope that is the statements of scopes scope of the statement yes there will be complete unit will be there related to the statements okay uh, all the statements in java and uh, then we have the methods or the functions as you call and complete unit of that and array and array and string we have only the array part to be shown and the array and string the second part we have in the string in the semester two yes and in semester two you will have the the string part and the recursion will be there full unit inheritance will be there interface and polymorphism and you have the data structure so this is all we have in this uh, thing and so mcq multi choice question uh, so you have like this sample if it is from the array part if I show you from the array part just see that or the array part so if I go into the unit number 10 and I show some examples five at least example from the array part that is 10 how it can come like uh, you can get the idea so for that idea I'm coming to this that in Java arrays are option a objects option B object references option C primitive data okay and you'll also find C primitive data types D none of the above so this type this likely time type is like this that we have and over here the answer also have given yes the answer is you see option number A and we have the option number A you have seen that objects why because in Java an array is a container object that holds a fixed number of values of a single type so for that reason 
we put in for the object so we must be knowing what is array in Java so that is very important so this theoretical part is very essential or the base of the objective type questions and in Java an array is a container object that holds a fixed number of values of a single type the length of an array established when the array is created after creation its length is fixed that we know it is fixed so we get the answer in array in Java arrays are objects yes that is the answer and then we go to the next question which one of the following is a valid statement see this is not done see this uh, over here how you'll find it this this is not the particular parameter over here you see over here this is okay yes this is not and this is no nothing is there inside see so here what will be the option option can be B let us see what the option comes yes option number B that's it now coming to the next question question number three what is the result of compilation and running the following code so public class ex and you see public static void main is there string ox is there and you have the new so you are assigning that one yes now system length you are doing so what is the length so little length normally will be taking this length only because it is a, a is over here so the answer will be zero yes 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 let us see yes option number a now we come to the next one analyze the following code and choose the correct answer we have in a square bracket here we are yes we are doing what we are assigning as we assign yes as we assign we are assigning and then we after the assigning we are putting into the new array as six so the code has compiled errors compilation no yes but what will be the uh, thing let us see after that we cannot change once it is assigned so then it comes a code can completely run and find yes that's it the second line assigns a new array as we can find over here a new array is there so option C will be the correct one let us go to the D option the code has compiled errors because no errors can be found out no no nothing so C option C is the correct answer yes now we come to the next one when we come to this one we find that it determine the output output is test one is there public static void main string ux yeah arg is their argument that is uh, we assign these values to the particular array and again the same way we are putting it in the x and the x carries two yes two means it will take only two values one and two yeah so if we can print it and that is also the length of that thing and you're printing it then it will come one and two so option a b and c d is there as usual so i hope that it will be c one and two let us see the answer yes option c is the correct answer so option c was one two and over here you can see it's storing the two only and c it will printing one and two only right so that's the answer and uh, that's all thank you so you get the idea of the mcq pattern of question answers more I will be giving you this is just a sample of it yeah okay yes thank you then thank you all of you and be prepared